Okay, so maybe let's quickly recap RSI for everyone listening. Sure. RSI, it's basically a momentum indicator. It measures the speed and change of price movements. Usually it runs from zero to 100. And low numbers mean oversold, high numbers mean overbought, generally speaking. Exactly. So if a stock's price drops quickly, the RSI goes down, signaling it might be oversold, maybe due for a bounce. If it rises fast, RSI goes up, possibly overbought. But Connors found the standard 14-day RSI. Well, it didn't really show much of an edge in his tests. That's right. The default setting, 14 periods, it didn't really stand out. But when he shortened it dramatically down to just two periods, things changed. Suddenly, it seemed like there was a statistical edge there, specifically for mean reversion buying dips. It's like looking for a really sharp, immediate price drop. OK, so what was the simple strategy he proposed based on this two period RSI? It was pretty straightforward, actually. Condition one. The overall market needs to be healthy. So S&P 500 trading above its 200-day moving average. Makes sense. Don't fight the overall trend. Precisely. Condition two, wait for the two-period RSI of the S&P 500 itself to close below a really low level, specifically five. Wow. Below five. That's quite low. That signals a pretty sharp pullback. It does. Very oversold in the very short term. Then the action. Buy the S&P 500 on the close of that day. And the exit. How do you get out? The exit rule was also simple. Sell when the S&P 500 closes back above its five period moving average. So you're looking for that initial bounce to play out. Okay, a simple setup. Bull market context, sharp dip signal via RSI 2 below five, buy, then exit on a short-term strength signal. But does this actually hold up? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? 